Hi Jokers, thanks for watching this episode of Jokers Physiotherapy. Today, I just wanted to uh, open the floor up and answer some questions that I have had a number of times. Um, in a recent uh, video, there were some comments and the questions that came through, and I thought uh, this is a, a beneficial to uh, other people as well, so I thought I should make a video about the dry mouth and where the tongue should be. So daytime tongue position uh, linked to jaw clenching and grinding. That's the video that I made. And in this, I talked about the tongue should be on the roof of your mouth, teeth apart, and then lips together for nose breathing. Uh, so most, uh, some people have been doing that uh, religiously or you know strictly, and it's still uh, finding that in the, in the morning, they wake up with mouth dry, which tells uh, you and me that your mouth breathing through the night now as we know uh, mouth breathing and dry mouth can trigger more clenching so why is this happening when you're so aware and so practicing this during the day when you're awake well there may be some hidden reasons why this is still persistent things that I can think of uh, there are a list of them but the the one of the most uh, obvious possibly is that you have not enough access in through your nose what does that mean so that means your nasal passage may be blocked or narrowed from repetitive or chronic inflammation in, in your inferior turbinates or superior turbinates inside your nose so there are turbinates which is like a uh, curved uh, structure which obviously uh, filters and protects your protects your nose from sucking in any sort of you know big bulgy, bulky uh, dust for example so they're filtering and they can be swollen through repetitive cold episodes or some infections and if that's the case they're enlarged therefore you can't get the air through your nose uh, for example, at the moment, I've got rhinitis and allergies, so my nose is blocked. And yes, I did mouth uh, breathe through uh, last night, and I was aware of it. So that, got to check the uh, nose. If the nose is not clear, which means you can't breathe through your nose effectively, then having the tongue on the roof, it doesn't work, because you, you've got to get enough air through your to your lungs you can't get it through through your nose then you obviously have to drop your tongue on the floor and breathe through your mouth during your sleep um, the other thing is maybe that uh, yeah uh, so that is the uh, the other thing is so that's the nasal passage that's narrowed due to reasons such as i'm not saying it's limited to but it's an inflammation of the turbinates inside your nose and how do you find that well you've got to get pay a visit via your family doctor referring you to a, a ear nose throat specialist who may give you uh, solutions such as sprays for the uh, upper respiratory tract or uh, deeper inside your nose or shallower end you know they they are a lot more specialized in improving that and that may be enough to resolve why uh, you are still mouth breathing and the other thing is the sinus you may still have some sinus blockage or infections and uh, there is some pus in there or gunk in there yeah if that's the case obviously no matter how well you want to breathe through your nose and you're training your tongue again you don't have enough uh, enough passage to get the air through your nose so if that's the case again uh, you need to go and see an ENT ear nose and throat specialist who specializes in upper respiratory uh, tract if that's if, if you can choose uh, that type of you know people with ENT with a special interest in treating upper respiratory tract 
Okay, so there are two common reasons or third one is that you may have a tongue tie where the bottom of the tongue is, is attached so that you are not getting the tongue up high enough to push up against the hard palates. And if that's the case, you may have trouble uh, keeping your tongue on the roof. And that means during the day, you are already uh, so frequently needing to check whether the tongue's on the roof because it's on the floor and then you have to push it up and then you realize as soon as you open your mouth, uh, there's not enough uh, underneath. It's so much connected so the tongue can, cannot stay up there because the tissues that are connecting underneath is, is quite thick. And these days when you're born and before the tongue is innervated, as in nervous attached, uh, in the hospital before you get discharged with a baby, uh, they check that and then they may, if they find you have a tongue tie, the baby has a tongue tie, they may do a quick procedure. After six months, they say, uh, after six months of the birth, the innervation, as in the nerve it, to the tongue, is connected, and therefore you, they, 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 get, they feel pain, so they actually need to go through surgical procedure under anesthesia. Uh, that is through my own experience, uh, with with uh, with our with the children, uh, you know, but that there could be reasons like that. So these are the things. Please to discuss. Uh, please, uh, if you if you are wondering why this may be the case, uh, please discuss this with your family doctor, who may be able to refer you on to an appropriate ear, nose, and throat specialist who can look at your, your nose properly through their assessment, either through scoping or through a appropriate scanning. They do a special scanning, specific scanning to see these things. Also, and all the assessments, they're the specialists in that area. So if there are reasons why you are doing the tongue training and keeping them up there during the day, but it's not reflecting your sleep or not changing the dry dryness in your mouth and they're persistent then it's worth paying a visit to the doctor and seek further assessment and help okay i hope this is useful and thank you for watching this episode of jokers physiotherapy and happy re oh, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and let us know what you think and your share your um, story and I, I, you know, I, I always try to think what viewers want to see uh, and uh, benefit to you people who are interested in improving their life, uh, you know, uh, to do with jaw pain and symptoms. Um, okay, thank you and happy rehab. Cheers.